Hey guys, what's up? It's Scary Killer in here with part 5 of my Lie Eat series, where we're now on chapter 2, Lie Eat 2, The Lie Eating Dragon, and the Azure Dream Eater. So, um, I'm just gonna hit a new game here, but before I begin the reading, I'm just gonna do a little quick recap. Um, if you haven't watched my first part of the series with the chapter 1, uh, there will be a link in the description to the playlist, so that way you can go and find the videos. But, with basically what happened in, in the last one, if you have watched and you just want a little recap, is we got to Vermilion Town, um, there was this case with this vampire attacks, and um, at the end of it we figured out that it was the two, it was the brother and the sister, except it was the sister that was the vampire and the brother was trying to defend her, and then um, they end up hurting Leo, and we now know, well, we know at the end of it that Leo is still alive somewhere, and Effie has been taken by the two other dragons, the police force, and now that's, I guess, where we're left off now. So, once upon a time, there was a fluffy white sheep. The sheep fed on nightmares, so it lived off the nightmares of the humans around it. But one day, the sheep grew tired of the taste of nightmares. Just then, it saw a girl having a wonderful, happy dream. The sheep secretly ate her happy dream. It was delighted by the taste. But the girl whose dream was stolen became little more than an empty shell. The end. Oh jeez, that was... That was sad and abrupt. <laughs> what was I born for? Why can I eat people's dreams? Is this okay? Is it okay to just eat them? I better go to bed. Hat's a little big on me. Well, shouldn't matter. Hey, can you really just take those? That guy was just sleeping. Sure I can. I mean, I left him my clothes, didn't I? And I blew near all our money on your new clothes. Well, okay, but those clothes, didn't they get really stinky when you fell in, in that horse stuff last town? Can't complain when it's on the house, hmm? A badge? What's that? These are what guards were. You tell me that dumb looking doofus was a guard? A guard for a pleasure resort. Hayrod? Close, but no cigar. It says Harold. So Harold will be my name here. Hair Hal works. That's probably easier for you to remember. Gotcha. So wait, is this like someone similar to Leo? Hehehe. <laughs> She's so geek. Wonder if they'll recognize me by face. I did try to mimic his hair. If we're lucky, we might even get to stay the night in this resort. But any hitches, and we're making her get away. Got it? What kind of place is it? It's got fun and games. Fun? Games? Hooray! Don't get too wild now. So wait, are we playing as a new character now that like each dream? Welcome to Azure Town. This is our prized resort, but only authorized personnel are allowed inside currently. So who are you? Name yourself. Yes, number 3-055, Harold Radford reporting for duty. Number 3-055, Harold Radford? This must be the new guard that was to start today, brother. Aha! Harold, how old are you? 18, sir. I see. If I might say, your eyes seem so mature for a man your age. Good eyes. Eyes that have stared down, death, and made it out alive. But still, no alcohol. That'll get you fired on the spot. Hmm, who's that child? Effie, I'm Papa's. This is my little sister, Afina. Aha, you don't look anything alike, though. We don't look alike either, so we shouldn't speak ill of those siblings now, should we? In, in what way do we not look alike? I is it alright if I ask you something? Certainly. Would it be possible for us to lodge a while at the resort? Hmm, perhaps it's best you ask the manager. Have you some need? Actually, we're looking for our mother. Our dad's already passed away, so we left home without hesitation, and now we're traveling to find mom. 
but we need money for that, so I just have to keep taking brief jobs like these. I see, it would be perhaps too costly to go to an inn, in terms of both time and money. What a thoughtful youth, personally, yes. I would gladly accept. I firmly believe that the manager will allow it as well. Thank you so much. If anything should come up, feel free to count on us. I'm the elder brother, Tom. I'm the younger brother, Mars. Okay, thank you again. May happiness come to you. What nice guys. You're 18, Papa? No, that's drinking age. Found the guy's age along with his badge. Oh, and those dogs could talk. That's so cool. They're not dogs, they're human. What? People used to have all kinds of categories and races depending on how you looked, but now we just call everybody humans. So what's different between those guys and dogs? People walk on two legs and talk anything else as an animal. But the only creatures that look human, but aren't called it these days, are dragons. What's different between dragons and humans? I guess that dragons can use magic and people can't. People can't eat lies, or be immortal, or pass through walls and floors. And a human's head doesn't spit fire when they're half asleep. Let's look for the manager. Forgot to ask what they even look like, huh? Lots of books. Lots of books. Oh, what does that say? The newspaper here has a big headline, Phantom Thief Strikes Again. Lots of books. Kind of digging this music. What's this? Lifeless Eyes. Large stock of alcohol. I'm just kind of like looking around just because I remember last time we found that candy so I'm just kind of wondering if we can maybe um, find something again. What is this? Oh, it's like a chapel. We're in a resort, aren't we? Why is there a chapel in a resort? Actually, I just kind of want to howl. Oh, we're back to level one for Athena. Do we have any items? Knife. Small candy. Oh, got serrated knife and small tart. Um, Oh, wait, okay. Okay, so she'll have the small tire and pull out the serrated knife. There we go. That's more that's more damage, so like that'll be good for us. Um okay. There's something here. Big liar, dragon aurora. Jeez, we're finding all kinds of stuff. Don't know. Hmm. No, I'll keep what we have. <coughs> oh my. Lots of books. What do we take? Achievement unlocked. That was for the orphans. Oh. Wait. I don't even know what we took. Oh well. Oh, do we have customers? This isn't a place for games. Oh, look at the size of those. Pardon me, I'm Harold, and I'll be working here as a guard for a little while. I was looking for someone, the manager. But you see, since I'm new, I'm not even sure what kind of person I'm looking for. Oh, is that right? The manager is a woman with bandages around her face. I think you'll know her right away when you see her. I see, thank you very much. I heard this new young... This new guard was a younger kid, but you look pretty mature. It's an honor to hear you say so, miss. Haha. <laughs> she went out a bit ago, so she might not be back quite yet. She's never gone long, so perhaps you'll bump into her if you just walk around. 
I must mention, we do get quite a few unruly guests, but good luck with the job. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Alright, we still got one more room to look into. What's this? Okay, I guess we'll go back downstairs now. Try the chapel again. I've noticed that's like the one thing that this game does a lot is like you have to like constantly check places that you've already been on the off chance. Aha, yeah. Hey, visitors. Still getting ready here. Sorry to interrupt. I'm Harold. I'll be working here as a guard briefly. Harold. Oh, right. Gotcha. I heard of it, yeah? If you want the manager, she should be back soon. What's the manager like? The manager looks real sour, but she's got a good ass. And dem legs. <laughs> Whoa, another one? Didn't see you there, shorty. And I'm sure surprised to see you've got a kid. You knew I wasn't Harold from the beginning, didn't you? Yeah, because I'm a friend of his. Of course, he's a loser and an awful drunk, so truth is, I hate his guts. Yeah, never really a good combination. Don't worry, I won't tell nobody. Heck, I'm thankful you're here instead of that jerk. But maybe I'll get be in trouble. It'll be trouble. I know, I'll make a prank call. Gahaha. <laughs> you're just like, how? Say what, Ron? How is this guy like me? Huh? You are? Hey, patched up guy. List three, your three favorite things. Oh, the name's Lucas, and I guess I like beer, money, and women. See, the same. No way. This guy's a womanizer. Me? I'm what you call a gentleman. Got that backwards, bud. You're picking a fight? They're exactly alike, but maybe that doesn't mean they can get along. Hey, Mr. Lucas, what else do you like? Oh, well, given the job I do, I like seeing people be happy in fun-filled places like this. What the heck's that? You lied. Get on it, Runt. Enough with the Runt stuff. Call me Effie, it's my name. Oh jeez, I think I did a lot of damage. But then again, we're doing a lot of damage, wow. So, this girl can make lies manifest and eat them. You told a lie, so it appeared as a monster. Um, so you actually hate seeing people happy? Hmm, I see. Not so much hate. I just don't care. I gotta admit, people's sorrows seem a bit more than... more on the interesting side to me. What a weirdo. Hey, look who's talking. I'd say the same of you. Would other people's misfortune actually make equally happy things happen to me? Sounds like a pretty lousy way of thinking. Hate it. Boy, you're weird. But when Hal gets sad, it makes me sad too. Seriously? Then you're a weirdo too. Oh! So we're all weirdos here. Hooray! Ehehe. <laughs> so, is the tiny one a dragon or something? Whoa, correct. Yeah, well, we've sort of got one of our own. A dragon, you mean? Well, it's a kid the manager picked up somewhere a couple months ago. He eats dreams or something, and only dragons can do that kind of magic stuff, right? Of course, never seen it myself, and the manager says he's a human, not a dragon. A dream-eating dragon. The cops never got on your case for hauling a dragon around? Hey, it's not like we're doing anything wrong. I only take her along because she's unruly and she does weird stuff. Hmm, <laughs> gotcha. Oh dang, I gotta clean up before I get in trouble again. Alright, beat it guys. Manager's gotta be back by now. Yeah, good luck. I don't need a guy like you cheering me on. Maybe that intel that there was a dragon in town was right. Gathering info this time? Yep, info on dragon sells well. <laughs> Plus, we might even learn a thing or two about you. Really? Really? What's got you so happy? Wonder if the manager's back. Let's look around some more. Um, what do you suppose I'm about to transform into? Penguin, a penguin! I see indeed, it's a guess as good as any. You'll see that there's nothing up my sleeve. Three, two, what, are you really going to turn into a penguin? I want to be one too. One. Um, the answer was a sheep. Where'd that woman... She vanished instantly. How? I was watching. Hawa? So, are you a customer? No, surely not. To be inside at this time. You're a trespasser. Ow. Why, miss, why, why? A little girl. Ah, Tom and Mars told me about you. So you're the little sister of the new guard. Is it just me or was she just wearing some kind of 
kinky leggings. Beg for your life. Ah, uh, no. I meant to say, I've been most impolite. Apologies. I used to be an executioner. I still have some habits. And you struck me as exceptionally shady. So, are you hurt? No, it's fine. It's really my fault for making such an abrupt request. You mean lodging here? Oh, not at all. There are guest rooms on the second floor which you may use. We have spare rooms, so yes, you can certainly use the fire room on the west side. Okay. Your main duties as a guard are to patrol the interior and prevent trouble between guests. But there are occasionally some rowdy, hot-blooded ones. Report those to me, please. Um, so you can... Sorry. So you can transform them? No, so that I can bring, them, bring the whip down upon them. I'm really in your debt. Uh, I should introduce myself. I'm Sophia Juanel. Ju Juan. Oh my gosh, I can't even. And to my right is... I'm William. You can call me Will. Will, are you a dragon? No, no, I have horns, yes, but they're sheep horns. Oh, so they're different. Well, I have other preparations to make, so if you'll excuse me, bye-bye. But, good, goodbye. Hey, run. If you straight up ask someone if they're a dragon, they won't just say yes. Why not? I keep telling you, dragons are rare creatures. Since they're rare, bad guys target them. That's why they usually hide it, you know? The police guys can be more open about it, because they're strong enough to protect themselves. Hmm. But you never really stop me from telling people I'm a dragon, Hal. I don't think this conversation... Sorry, I don't like this conversation. Let's find a room and rest. Hey, for real, tell me. Okay, so we'll just head to the room and then um, end the episode because we are running out of time. I've got work to do tonight, so I'm going to rest. Um, if you don't bother anybody, you can wander around and have some fun. You're going to work? Because I came here as the guard herald, see? I'm no pro at impersonation, but it's not hard if it's my first time meeting these guys. Don't tucker yourself out. You mean physically or in terms of lying? Um, both. Right, gotcha. If you leave the resort, don't head into town. Place is huge as hell. Oh, and here's your snack. Eat it when you get hungry. Yay! Okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and if you want to watch the next video, then please do so, and I'll see you guys next time on part two of Lie Eat 2, which would be part six, technically. So anyways, yeah, thank you guys. See ya.